Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Gene here with Exos. I'm going to take you through this 15-minute daily refresh. A little change of scenery here. Get to be in a garden. Beautiful day. Now, even though I'm outside, all you're going to really need today is that yoga mat. If you'd like to take those shoes off, you can. Just get a little bit more attached with that ground and base. And maybe some water. This is a good attitude. Um... Thank you so much for being here, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so take that space, whatever you got, go ahead and find that mat. We're going to get into that big triangle position, okay? From here, all we're going to do is take that right hand down into that pocket, okay? And then just side to side, big oblique reaches. So left hand, right pocket and reach. We're going to do three of each side, okay? So six total. Really trying to create some length out of that torso, locking in the lower half. And then all I want you to do is just reach out and then draw back as if you had a bow in your hand and then your head follows your hand and then back to the middle. So. Head follows the hand. Meet yourself back. Three each side. Nice and slow. Try to create a ton of length. Trying to reach. Get extended. Big as you can. Trying to open up that chest and T-spine. And three. Very nice. From here, I'm gonna ask to interlock those fingers, reach to the sky, and then you're just gonna make a big circle with that torso. Three, this way. Trying to stay nice and long and extended. Switch it up. Very nice, once you finish three, we're going to go into a bit of a lateral lunge, so just sit into one hip as if you're sitting into a chair. And then I want you to reach with your hands at the same time. So a big press out, give me a good hold, back to the top. Doesn't have to be that deep. Really want you to just sit into that heel and full foot. Really trying to get a lot of pressure through that one side, whichever that may be. Very nice, three each side. Now from here, we're gonna go into that high split position, or if you're a yogi, into that warrior pose, okay? The only thing that's gonna be a little different, let me show you a different angle, is that we're gonna be completely linear and that back foot isn't gonna be turned. So from here, we're gonna do the same thing we started with, staying all extend on that back side, and we're just gonna reach across and then back, cross and back, reaching across that knee and back, switch it up, other side, high split position, reach out, really draw that bow back, get as long as you can and reach. Beautiful, we're gonna continue on this high split position Okay, so if we're gonna add a big A, sweep the arms, come up, drive your shoulders down as if you had a lat pull down machine in front of you. Okay, and from there you're just sweeping down and then driving those hands straight to your shoulders. So big sweep, drive down. Okay, three sides. Once switch it up once you've done three. So starting that A, big sweep, pull down. Torso, arms, and pull. Really try to pull those shoulders away from your ears. Make sure you have that nice angle with the torso and legs, and pull down. Perfect. Go ahead and get back to a standing position, shake it out. 
Now we're going to go into a little bit of a knee hug. The only twist I'm going to put on it is shift that weight to one side, okay, as if we're doing a single leg squat. And then I just want you to reach up tall with that knee. Once you come down, shift your weight nice and slow. Get tall with that knee. And reach the other way. Three each side. Make sure that that leg that is down is grounded and straight like a pole. Really try to flex that quad. Perfect. Three more. Creeping from side to side. I'm going to go two more. Ooh. Ground yourself. Lots of body control. All right. Very nice. From here, we're going to go into a hinge position. So soft knees. Okay, we're going to get out of that straight knee position. Soft knees bend over at the waist. You can bend over and grab your knees just like you were tired or winded. Okay, and then from there, just unlock your hands off your knees. Okay, and we're just going to go into a bit of a twist. T-spine, three each way. Good crack for me there. Good. Once you've done three, we are going to go into that same position, that bent over position, that nice hinge at the hip, and then we're going to go Big arm sweep, which means start in that handcuff position, come up, clap the hand. So, handcuffs, try to touch palm to palm, rotate those hands back, and we're going to do six total. Just stay down here. Should feel some tension in those hamstrings and glutes. Beautiful. All right. Once you finish six, okay, we're going to go ahead and take it to the ground into that quadruped position. Now we're going to get into that bear position to where my toes are tucked, knees are right below the hips, hand below the shoulders, and I'm driving up off the ground. And all I'm going to do from here is a big shoulder touch. Let me give you another angle. So from here, Shoulder touch side to side. Give me a two second hold at each shoulder. And we're going to do six. Perfect. Once you've done six, come up to that tall kneeling position. Take a bit of a rest. Okay, then I want to shift that weight back. So. If I'm at my quadruped position, shift that way back. So hips go down to heel. And then I'm going to reach that arm across my body with my palm up. Big light reach. Come back up. Switch sides. Really stretch that lat. Cross the body. Trying to open up that back side. And open up that lap scap. Very nice. Okay, from here we're going to go down onto our butt. Okay, so we're going to get into that kind of crab position or crab walk position. Hands are just outside the hips, fingers facing away. Go ahead and lift your butt off the ground. And then from there we're just going to create a little bit of a cross angle, trying to touch opposite hand, opposite foot. Same thing, six each side. And six. Beautiful. All right. Go ahead and stick one foot out. We're going to do a little bit of a quarter Turkish get up. So one leg is straight, one leg is bent. Whichever leg is straight, reach over. Reach that hand over to one side. 
opposite side, elbow and knee come together, and I'm driving off my heel and my hand, getting nice and tall for three each side. Beautiful. Switch it up. And heel, drive up, nice and tall. And three. Fantastic. All right. Now we're going to move it to our back. We're going to go into a bit of a pretzel stretch or pretzel. Now to get into this position, lay to one side. That top leg knee comes up over the belly button. Now I want you to grab that foot that's underneath. You can either go out on that lateral side or the medial part of your foot. Hand comes on top of that knee, and you're just really trying to drive that shoulder down and back up. We're doing three here. Perfect. Switch it up. Beautiful. Go ahead and sit up once you finish three. We're going to do a little bit of a core series here. We're going to go into that inverted hamstring, or that, sorry, that supine hamstring position. So legs will be up, and you're going to reach up tall, and then relax. Trying to keep that low back flush. We're going to do six. Very nice. Bring one leg down, okay? Opposite hand, opposite knee. We're going to a single leg loop bridge. We're gonna hold for three each side. So three reps each side, hold the top for three. Go ahead and roll back over to the stomach. Drive that chest up. Get some length out of that core. And then from there, you're going to drive up to that high plank position. Push back. Get those ankles. Walk the hands all the way up to the feet. Hinge back. Walk out. All the way back down to the stomach. Push up. Draw back all the way to the feet, and one more just like that. Very nice. Go ahead and shake it out. Last little series here for the neck. Interlock those fingers on the back of your head. Draw that chin down. Hold for three seconds, come back to the top. Three reps. Same thing underneath the chin, right by the throat. Push that chin up, get nice and long, back down, nice and long, back down. Now I just want you to look left to right. Half circles. Handcuff yourself. Once you do that, okay, so opposite hand reaches to that ear. We're just driving that upper trap, trying to get some length out of that neck. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining me in this 15-minute daily refresh. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Mahalo.